Hey, welcome to the blue belt level of the CMJ Level Up program. My name is Joe and this is my Craps Master Dice Shooting Journey. Let's make it yours too. So if you've done the work to make it up to blue belt level here, congratulations, you've done a lot already. And there's, this is right where the program really starts to begin, where we actually start putting in the practice for the throws. If you haven't done the work already, make sure that you go back and go through the white belt, yellow belt, orange belt, and green belt videos and put in the work so that way when you get up to this point, you're ready to go forward and you're ready to start off with the blue belt program. Now, the beginning goal of the blue belt level is to record a benchmark. And a benchmark is where we're gonna record a grouping of throws so we know exactly where we're starting at in our dice shooting journey. Now, this grouping of throws is actually gonna be 216 throws. And the reason that we're going to 216 throws is because George from CY has suggested that you complete a grouping of six complete sets of 36 throws. 36 is a magical number because that's the number of dice results that you can get out of having two die. You can get a total of possibility of 36 results. And if you look in the top right corner, I'll have a card leading to a video that I had done pertaining to creating a benchmark. And the reason that it's important to create that benchmark is so that way sometime in the future, we can come back and analyze the results that we have produced to see that if we actually are doing the things necessary to influence the dice, to influence the, the numbers that you're seeing on the dice to become more favorable towards what your betting style is. Now, once we're done setting that benchmark of 216 throws, we're gonna go through and complete a total of 5,000 throws in the blue belt level. If you can complete the 5,000 throws, in my opinion, that will put you in the top 20% of all the shooters at the craps table. To begin, you wanna make sure that you start off your shooting sessions with your stretches and your warm-ups that you can find in the white belt level video. And I'll leave that in the link on the top right corner there. We're gonna follow that up with some dice manipulation drills or dice setting drills. And once you feel warmed up there, what's gonna happen is you're gonna bring out the rugged dice, the height tool, the laser level, and the barrel dice. And you're gonna set everything up and you're gonna do at least five tosses with the barrel dice, at least five tosses with the regular dice using that height tool and the laser level. So that way we can get dialed in and ready to actually start our throwing of the dice. To complete the remainder of the blue belt level, you wanna make sure that you have bone tracker installed on your computer. And this is how you do it. But once I had a chance, I went in and I downloaded the Bone Tracker Dice Recording Program. This is a free Microsoft Excel program that's put up by Axis Powercraft. So Heavy at Axis Powercraft is one that promotes us. If you haven't checked out his site, make sure that you do so. I will leave a link in the description of this video. Uh, make sure you check it out. But let me walk you through what I did and how I did things. So first of all, I did a Google search for Bone Tracker Download and you'll see that on the screen right now. Then I clicked on the top link. It says download bone tracker access power craps. And that brought me to this page. And then what you wanna do is I'm gonna highlight right here where I clicked on to download the program. Remember, you're gonna need Microsoft Excel or a program that reads Microsoft Excel files to use the program. I guess according to Access Powercrafts, there's programs out there that are very inexpensive if you don't have Microsoft or some are actually free. So kind of look around. I know on his site, he has a suggested program that if you don't have Microsoft, that you can actually download that program. I think it's free. But once I downloaded the program, I deleted the samples that they had in the program, and then I entered my dice rolls results. So if you look on the left side, I clicked where it says, click here to enter rolls. And that opens up the box that I show here. And this is where I recorded all of my rolls. So I entered all the 216 results into the program right here. The first three sessions of the Blue Belt level is gonna be dedicated towards setting our benchmark. So in other words, we're gonna do one third of the throws 
each of the three days. So that works out to be 72 throws each day. And you're gonna use the base set, your, your hardware set, your 5454 five, hardware set, to start throwing the dice down a table and record each of the 216 results. Make sure that when you record those results now, that you keep it in a bone tracker file, a separate one, and save it as a separate file with the word benchmark in it. For example, for me, I'm gonna go with the CMJ benchmark. As a side note, when you're doing your, your recording and you're, and you're tracking your rolls, make sure that you use two different colored dice, whether it's black and white, uh, green and blue, red and blue, whatever colors you have available for you. But make sure that you're using two different color dice so that we can track the right dice versus the left dice. And once you complete your benchmark, we're gonna continue on and we're gonna complete 5,000 throws at the blue belt level. So this leaves you with 4,784 more throws to do. Now my suggestion is not to do any more than 100 throws per session. And a session would be from start to finish. And if you wanna do more than that in one day, make sure that you take some time off in between your sessions. The things that you wanna focus on when you're completing your 5,000 throws are as follows. Number one, you wanna train your eyes to follow at least one of the dice down the table so that way you can identify once we go to regular dice, which is the right and which is the left. So for me, what I do is I try to watch the dice that's closest to the wall, so the right dice as I'm throwing it down from stick left one. Number two, you wanna make sure that you throw the dice down the table in a straight line so that they have minimal energy when they hit the table, bounce up, hit the wall, and come back down, hopefully close up against that back wall. Number three, make sure that when you throw the dice that they stick tight together and they, they have the same backspin revolutions so that way when they land on the table, they hopefully land square and bounce up to hit the back wall. And finally, number four, do not analyze the results right yet. The reason for the 5,000 throws is so that we can get a good sample size of what the dice are doing when they're going on a table. And we're also training, like I said, that eye to watch one of the dice so we can, in our mind, record or process what numbers were thrown according to what dice set we were using. Now what we're gonna do is, our, like I said, our first three sessions are gonna be designated towards creating that, that benchmark. Sessions four through 15, we're just gonna be throwing the dice down and recording the results in Bone Tracker. Starting with session number 15, what we're gonna do is we're going to start mentally observing what's going on with the dice when they land at the, on the table at the other side. So in other words, are they single pitching, are they double pitching, are they imploding, are they exploding? The whole while we're doing this, remember we're keeping the results in Bone Tracker, but we're not making any changes to our dice sets or our throwing style until we get to the end of the 5,000 throws. Keep in mind we're using that hardware set, the 5454 hardware set, so when you're visualizing what's happening to the dice when they land at the other end of the table, if a five, a four, a two, or a three shows, that means that the dice stayed on axis and that you're, you should be golden as long as it does not double pitch. If you see a one or a six, that means that either one of the dice either imploded or they exploded. And when we go in through the purple belt, the next belt, we'll be able to analyze that and make changes to help correct those, those deficiencies. So for example, if your left dice reads a four and your right dice reads either a five or a two, then that means that you're single pitching. If your left dice reads a four and your right dice shows a three, then that means that you double pitch the dice. And that is one of the common side effects or downfalls of the hard way set. If your left dice shows a six, then it imploded, or if it shows a one, then it exploded, and vice versa for your right dice. If it shows a six, then it exploded, or if it shows a one, then it imploded. So like I said, we're just gonna keep a mental note of what the dice are doing at this point. So that way when we get to the purple belt level, we can actually do what it takes to correct those mistakes, those deficiencies in the dice, 
but mentally we're going to be on top of it so that when you're at the crafts table you can pick that stuff up instantly and make the changes that are going to be needed in a more timely expedient factor also start with session number 15 we're going to start tracking our throws at the table so not only are we going to be doing the bone tracker program we're also going to track them with the chips on the table and what that's going to do is it's going to give us a visual reference as to which numbers are being thrown as we go through the 100 throws per session and what you can do is is that like i said it's going to give you that mental edge but we can start using that information then so when we get into further belt levels and we start setting up our betting uh, programs or systems or the things that we do when betting at the table we'll have a more informed way to to create different betting styles so hopefully we can make more money when we actually do throw the dice a simple way to record your throws by using the chips at the craps table are as follows we're going to use white chips for every easy number way that you throw we're going to use a green chip for every hard way that you throw and we're going to use a red chip for each seven that we throw and then make sure that you separate the sevens apart so when you have a come out seven that's not going to count against you because that's a pass line winner so we're going to put the red chips for the come out sevens on one side of the come box and we're going to put our seven outs on the other side of the come box using the simple chip method you're going to be able to quickly identify which are going to be your hot numbers for the day now follow along in my level up sessions because this chip program this this way of tracking with the chips at the table is going to progress to become a little bit more inclusive as we go but we're going to start off with a simple way of doing it in the beginning here now in review the blue belt is going to consist of a minimum of 50 sessions you're going to begin each session with doing your stretches your dice manipulations your dice setting drills and once you're warmed up you're going to perform at least five barrel dice and five regular dice throws using the height tool and the laser level. Sessions one through three will be used to set up your benchmark. Session four begins the rest of your 5,000 throws, and this will continue for as many sessions that are needed. Try not to throw more than 100 throws per session. Beginning with session number 15, you're gonna start training yourself to identify what the dice are doing when you're throwing them down a table, as well as what numbers you're throwing on a consistent basis now put into work here guys do the 5,000 throws at blue belt level and you're going to be blessed with the results and what it's going to train your body to do so that way when you do get to the craps table everything does become routine everything does become a constant and the variables go away now i thank you for following along this long in our journey hey my name is joe this is my craps master dice shooting journey Please make it yours as well.